Too many who know the angles Uncover and untangle All the questions and the webs left out to tangle I'll be in 1962 Last Wednesday's afternoon They'll bend your ears with reckless self-abandoned oh, The amazing spider talk oh, The amazing spider talk oh, Come swing through the air Sit back and prepare for the amazing spider Hello and welcome to the all-new Amazing Spider Talk. My name is Dapper Dan Gavazdan, and I'm the founder and editor-in-chief of SuperiorSpiderTalk.com. And I'm mischievous Mark Giannacchio, founder of the Chasing Amazing blog and author of the book 100 Things Spider-Man Fans Should Know and Do Before They Die. Well, thanks everybody for joining us for a special message about the Amazing Spider Talk and its future. As always, we hope the show continues to provide an intelligent conversation between two fans and collectors as we look at the Spider-Man comic universe in a bit of a bigger picture. Yeah, Dan, but today we wanted to take a moment to break down all of the changes coming to the show in the coming weeks. I know, doesn't everyone just hate change? But we think you're going to love this change. So whether you've listened to all 162 episodes of the show or you've just joined us for the first time now, we hope you'll enjoy and keep an open mind about what the future has in store for Amazing Spider Talk. Well, Mark, let's stop beating around the bush as we've been doing for several months now and let's let the (laughs) fine folks at home know what's going to be different about the show. So I'm going to jump right to the chase and just get it out there that the biggest change of the show is that we're going to be moving away from reviews of new books as the motivator for new episodes of the show. So instead, we're going to be moving to a seasonal model with 12 episode seasons of content that will cover the history of the character, that character being Spider-Man, from his humble beginnings to his modern silver screen dominance. And with each season of the show focusing on a different aspect or creative run in Spider-Man's multifaceted entertainment career, it's only natural that season one will focus on, well, his earliest beginnings of the wall crawler, you know, his homecoming, the landmark Stan Lee and Steve Ditko creative run, which uh, for those keeping score at home consisted of Spidey's first appearance in Amazing Fantasy number 15, as well as Amazing Spider-Man number one to 38. And Amazing Spider-Man Annuals number one and two. And Strange Tales Annual number two. All those annuals, Dan. Uh, Does Strange Tales <laughs> Annual count? Because I have that one as well. You have that one? That's I do. Impressive. Yeah, I do. Oh, my goodness. You must have paid a pretty penny for that. No, actually, I paid $10 for it. Oh, God. I don't really want to hear about this. Anyway, <laughs> um, for those of you who don't have... Dan Dapper Dan's uh, mischievous connections. You can uh, read the all these comics digitally through uh, the Marvel Unlimited app, or you know if you have paperback collections or whatever. In other words, these issues are very accessible. Yeah, and uh, you know, moving away from having new comics dictate our schedule will mean that Mark and I can do more prep for each show, bring on more guests, and really delve into the Spider-Man related topics that we've always wanted to discuss. Mark. We have never discussed Amazing Fantasy 15 on this show, and now we can actually do that. Yeah, and like there are other things that we wanted to talk about that you know maybe aren't um, respected to an individual story or arc, but are are essential parts of the character that we kind of talk about in our current reviews, but not in a way that goes in any detail. Like so, so there'll be episodes that look at like. Who is Peter Parker or Peter Palmer, (laughs) as Stanley (laughs) misidentified him? And, you know, looking at some of his powers and costumes and gadgets and, of course, looking at the bad guys, talking about, you know, some of the issues with Stanley and Steve Ditko and Spider-Man street fighting sensibilities, the Green Goblin mystery. Um, These are all topics that are going to come up over the course of our first 12 episode season yeah and mainly it's just going to be a journey you know mark and i are going to go on this journey and you're going to hopefully come with us as we go from like i said his very beginnings and slowly work our way through the history of spider-man so if you need like a crash course 
in everything Spider-Man. Of course, there's Mark's book. But now our <laughs> podcast is going to be the really in-depth source for that and a great time for you to kind of follow along or, you know, uh, discover all this stuff for the first time. Yeah, but don't worry. Those of you who are like, but what about the new issues? I like the, the current stuff or even we it's not that we dislike it, but, you know, we, we, we are looking for change. But anyway, we will continue to review the new issues, but. We will release the shorter, more succinct episodes to subscribers of our Patreon page, the Friendly Neighborhood Spider Talk Members Club. So that means for the price of one new comic, $3.99, our all new Amazing Spider Talk Patreon supporters will get exclusive access uh, to new comic reviews, listener mailbags, and of course, B-Book Insights from everyone's favorite reanimated Nazi skeleton made entirely out of bees, Swarm. And yeah, we'll eventually do roundup episodes released into the main feed that collect all of our reviews of the modern stories when the trades eventually come out. But if you are one of those people that reads every other week and wants to keep up to date and get early access to a ton of content, not to mention our Patreon-exclusive episodes... You should definitely consider becoming a patron to our Patreon club. Again, for only three ninety nine, that's just the cost of a comic a month. And you can also join our Excelsior Club. Excelsior! Excelsior! For ten dollars a month, and you'll receive an exclusive commissioned print made just for members of the club from a famous Spider Man artist like Ron Friends every six months. That's exclusive art for you to have in your hands from an awesome Spider-Man creator that Mark and I have a relationship with every six months for, like, pennies. It's an awesome deal. I mean, maybe we can even commission artwork from people we don't have a relationship with, Dan. You never know. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, here's hoping. But, Yeah. uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have said to us, like, your podcast adds so much to my reading experience. Hopefully, it's not an, a lot to ask you to pay the cost of one more comic a month to help support the show and get a ton of additional content. We're going to be putting out more content than we ever have before. Yeah, but now if you are a current member of the club, be sure to return to the Patreon page to change your subscription to be for our new services and pay close attention to the page to get instructions on how to get all of the Patreon-exclusive episodes to download directly into your podcast app, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or Google Play. And that's the really exciting part. Once you sign up, you'll just get these bonus bi-weekly bonus episodes right into your feed with no extra hassle. Just go to SuperiorSpiderTalk.com, click on the Friendly Neighborhood Spider Talk Members Club logo. Why do we name it that? And then go to Patreon.com slash SuperiorSpiderTalk to sign up. Yeah, so whether or not you become a member of our club, and we definitely hope you do because it's going to be awesome, you'll be getting a new episode of our all-new Amazing Spider Talk show every other week on Wednesdays. That's New Comic Book Day starting on July 5th. We can't wait for you to join us on our journey through the history of our favorite character, Peter Parker, none other than the Amazing Spider-Man, on our all-new Amazing Spider Talk. Mark, our Uncle Ben taught us a really valuable lesson that we like to end the show on. What did he have to say to us? Yep, that's right, Dan. As good old Uncle Ben used to say, with great podcasts must also come the all-new Amazing Spider Talk.